This is officially the coolest account that I own. I am a level one with the spiky trident with the awakened doe fruit. We are doing one to 700, then 700 to 1500, and then 1500 to 2450. We're going all the way to max level with this account. One to 700 in this first video. But since we already have Awakened Doe, we've already got the spiky trident that goes with it. We're kind of already Katakuri, so let's dress up in him. While I'm doing that, press like, subscribe if you're excited for this cheaty account. Let's reset. Let's reveal the character. All right, now we are full on Katakuri and we even have the awakened doe fruit for those of you that are confused indra recently tweeted out saying that he would help people who wanted to make impossible videos by editing noob accounts for them and that's exactly what i did i've done this before with the dark dagger but now we have the awakened doe and the trident to go with it we're gonna big brain this so we're gonna go all the way to fountain really quickly we're gonna kill like two npcs skip all the way to like level 40 or so then we'll go to Pirate Village and start grinding like a normal player would. All right, we're going to defeat these guys. I think we only have to kill two of them. I do have to worry about the knockback a little bit, but these punches do way more damage than if I was to just use combat. Although I think combat would be faster and I'm dead. All right, it turned out that just smacking him slowly with my spiky trident was pretty fast. And now that we're getting closer... I'm gonna finish him off with the the doe fists. Oh, I thought that was him dead, but it was just me being low on energy. Come on, guy, just die already. Man, this is so slow, especially when my attacks miss. There we go. All right, the doe mastery is rolling in. Look at the levels. All right, we got 38 doe mastery, so we haven't unlocked anything new yet. You know, you die a bit doing this method, but it totally feels worth it. Yes, there we go. We got another one, and we're just going to gain more and more mastery, although it looks like I didn't quite hit 50 mastery. We're level 36, though, which means we can, like I said, we can go to Pirate Island already. I'm just going to kill this last one that I accidentally started fighting. Yes, and that's it. My mastery is 53. I died. But now I can do the scorching donuts. So that hopefully means I'll just be able to roll my way back to the island I want to go to. Yes, this is amazing. Awakened Doe is already so fun. I have a feeling that this brute quest might be really easy if I do this. Because can't I... No, it doesn't really drag them. I can't really like... Turn fast enough to keep damaging him. Yo, 55. We can kill Bucky. Bobby quest. Let's go. Let's see if we can actually... I already ran into the guy when I was driving past. Ooh, that does decent damage. Yes. Easy game. All right. I'm going to hop servers and kill Bobby for a while. All right. Bobby was so efficient and easy that I decided to do him all the way to level 90. If you guys have watched my channel before, I hate the desert island. So I just completely skipped it this time. Easy game. It also gave us 150k. So we're gonna actually... Instead of buying the coat, I think I'll just buy all of my, like, my Gepo, everything like that. Why do I have a boat? I don't need it. All right, Ice Island, let's get up here. We're gonna buy all our things. I think we might even... Let's Robux, but we'll get, like, a cheap hockey color. All right, Air Jump, 10k, easy game. Aura is 25, super easy. I think this one's 100k. Yes, so we're able to get all of them, sweet. And then, let's pick a color. Okay, so in the anime, his is a slightly darker, like, maybe really light purpley, where Luffy's is normal. And that is light blue. Okay. His Conqueror's is also light blue. All right, easy choice. So I guess this blue? Let's go with this one. Blue jeans, enable color. We turn that on. Oh, yeah, that's definitely the lightning color. So now we have... Yes. I realize I haven't really showed you guys how this fruit plays. And I mean, like, Awakened Doe in the first seat. So what I'm doing is I'm using this to collect, like, to aggro all of them. And then I'm coming back here and building them all up. My low gear is already kicked in. So now I just charge up and I punch. And I sort of just repeat this. I don't use missile jab that much because... Sometimes it sort of just messes them up. We'll see if it goes all right. Yeah, if they shoot straight up like that, then I can usually 
pull them all back into a group and they're easy enough to kill. And that's 105. Well, 106. So we can take on the Yeti now, which I will probably do the Yeti until 125 or whatever it is I need to do so that I can go and fight the Vice Admiral at Marineford. I got caught up in how much fun it was and I forgot to record the kill. But that is 130, which means we can head to Marineford. We'll buy ourselves the black coat when we get up here, the black cape, whatever it is, and then we'll start farming the boss here as well. We totally skipped the regular NPCs, and that's just because you get so much XP from the bosses. If you can kill them quickly, you might as well just grind them. All right, rolling donut, climb the hill. No, 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 no. All right, we're in. Can I get down? Here we go. I suck at getting down these little ladder areas. Buy the coat for 50 bucks. Even though it's equipped, you have to press equip. All right, now we got some bonus stats. Oh man, this is a preview for how easy Doffy is going to be as well. When we do the bosses at the prison. Yo, that was just way too easy. Okay, we'll be here a while. I just accidentally joined the Marines and I spawned here. If you join the Marines, you spawn closer to the quest giver. Man, I wish I had known that. That would have saved me so much time. All right, boys, this is the last one. Then I'm going to be 220. I decided to do this guy all the way up to the next boss so I could just completely avoid having to do any of the like fodder mobs. I'm just gonna do bosses apparently. Time for the worst grind or oh, this used to be the worst grind in the first seat. It's a little bit better now that you can do the mobs from 190 even though I skipped all of them. Double punch, bomb. Oh easy game boys. I'm gonna love grinding here. I will do this until I think Magma Island. All right, last Chief Warden. And I, oh, he's not there. Oh, there we go. I think 230 means I can, no, that was the last Warden. This is the Chief Warden. And I think I can fight him now. Yes. All right, 230. Easy. Now we can just grind two bosses. Okay, I hit 241. I figured it was 250, but Swan is actually 240. So we can start doing Swan now. If I could find a server that he is in, what I'll do is I'll just keep him pinned up against the back wall, just like I did to the Vice Admiral. Oh no, I guess he could still hit me from back there. Yo, I'm halfway through killing this guy and Swan respawns. This dude better give me two level. Yeah, there we go. All right, level 300. We still have 50 levels to go, but I wanted to update you guys. This is where the stats are at. I'm kind of just building blocks fruits now. I don't get hit much. I don't seem to run out of energy anymore. I just want to do heaps of damage because this fruit's already really fast to kill things oh no i need a quest i basically just want to be able to blitz my way through with as much damage as possible all right this will be 350 and then we'll be able to move on and my plan is we actually have to go to the sky island because i chose to do bosses i have a lot of money and i think we're gonna go buy an accessory that usually i wouldn't use but because it gives 10 percent to devil fruit damage we might as well go get it it'll be a five percent upgrade from our current accessory all right sky island island please be exactly what i think it is i'm fairly certain i remember this correctly i'm pretty sure we just climb up onto whoa we just climb up onto here and i know i can jump it but also you can missile jab to shoot yourself up in the air very easily here the guy is okay five hundred thousand is what i think i have to you're not ready yet come on here we go sub to uncle kizaru let's do that let's go 200 uh i think like 130 was what i had and 717 yeah that'll do we lost a little bit of damage but we're also gaining five percent damage from this yeah 500k boom feels good man big upgrades all right magma admiral and we're doing this from 350 all the way i think to 425 yes i can roll into the middle i'm dead but it's okay because i rolled into the middle all right, level 400. This is an, an important level. We have to get 24 more levels before we can move on. But I think it's about time we got Observation Hucky. All the buttons have been pushed. Next. All right, we got Torch. Downstairs in the little house, we're gonna light this on fire. Casual vandalism. All right, collect the cave water. Wait, give me cave water. There we go. Feed cave water to the man. I wonder how this guy got rich and then managed to also get robbed by low-level bandit leader. Or mob leader, sorry. Let's go murder that guy. Yo, he's waiting for me. What are you doing out here, son? This isn't where we're meant to meet. 
I too hit the guy. Feels bad. All right, give me ancient artifact thing. Relic. All right, please be spawned. Shank. Yes. Okay, this server has shanks. You're weak, shanks. Katakuri's way cooler than you are, bro. Your attacks don't reach. I can't wait till they add real shanks into the game. That's going to be sick. And you're dead. Perfect. All right, here's the dude. I think it's 750k. Please let me afford this. Come on. Yeah, I know. I understand. 750. Perfect. Amazing. This is our last Magma Admiral. Then we're moving on. I think maybe the next boss or maybe by level 500-ish, we'll be able to unlock Piercing Clothesline. I really hope. I want it before the second C. There we go. 425. Easy game. Let's go under the sea. Whisper is at 500. So I'm going to stay here till 500. Get as much mastery out of this boss as I can. Please be here. Yes. Okay. I think I can beat this guy pretty easily. All right. Last Fishman Lord. And then we can go into the sky where my Scorching Donut won't really be helpful for getting around, which is kind of lame. Oh, and I have to worry about punching stuff off the islands. There we go. Level 500. I think it'd be faster just to do this. All right. Whisper, level 500. Easy. I guess I could do that be a little bit faster oh i can use this ability properly if you jump and use pastry river it does more damage very easy kill all right we're nearly a piercing clothesline all righty boys last whisper kill and i have i've unlocked piercing clothesline we're not gonna make it to dough fist that word that i can't say not in this video but in part two we will definitely unlock our last ability for sure Oh no, there it is. Easy game. I just got the bazooka. Feels good, man. All right, moving on to Thunder God. This is probably one that I'm a little bit worried about. So I'll be spawning down there. I can use Scorching Donut to get up to here. Get my quest. It, it is going to be a little bit slow. It's going to be a little bit slow because of the distance you have to travel and I can't fly. Let's just hope that we can easily kill this guy. All right, and easy game. Okay, cool. He won't really be a problem at all. Feels good, man. Just over level 600. I was going to record level 600, but I was listening to music. You get in the groove of grinding, and I just forget to make YouTube video. This should be our last Thunder God. Really easy to grind this guy. Although I did have a fair few people kill me in PvP for this one. I guess when you're hanging out in this sort of area... You know, it's probably the second highest level area that you'll see players in the first C. A lot of people from the second and third C come to kill you. And they see I have Awakened Doe, so they probably assume that I'm a higher level than I am. Still, the, the core issue here is like, what kind of a trash panda is coming back from the second and third C to kill people in the first C? Get good at the game, boys. Hey, that's it. Easy kill. So, we might as well just home teleport, I think. Yeah, perfect. And we'll just roll the donuts our way. So I ended up just stacking more and more blocks through stat. I did go 400 melee defense. I have a little bit of HP. I really don't need more energy than this. Yo, there he is. All right. Oh, I accidentally attacked the guy. Oh, and the rockets actually hit me. Whoa, watch out. Oh, it's a, it's a max level dragon. Nice. This guy just asked me to 1v1. <laughs> I'm telling you, they don't realize. Is this it? Is that? Yes. Oh, we got cool shades. No way. Yes, these are actually like the accessory that I was considering grinding for, even if I already got max level. This is perfect. Yo, this might actually be the last one. This guy gives so many levels, like obviously I have double XP, but even compared to all regular bosses, he just gives so much experience. Is that it? That's actually 700. Feels good, man. All right, let's go and quickly unlock the second C. Usually, if you're a smarty pants, you would keep doing cyborg and skip fighting the NPCs here. But I'm just going to do all second C. So we got to talk to this dude and then fight the super annoying guys down here. And finally, 725 or 27. We can move on from the worst NPCs 
and fight the mercenaries. That's 750. We can move on to the boss now if it's not too difficult. All right, so I ended up skipping out on Diamond. It was kind of a pain to find one that players wouldn't just kill me. Obviously, you're really close to the cafe. So if you're in a public server, you get killed a lot. I ended up just fighting these guys right to 775. And now we can move on to... Is it the... I can't remember if it's the Swan Pirates or whatever, but it's it's just over here. And these are some of my favorite to grind. Yo, so I just hit level 800 after doing Swan Pirates for ever. 25 levels. Jeremy is at 850. So I'm just going to stick to the Swan Pirates because factory staff are the actual worst. And now I have Doe Fist. All right, I just hit 850, which means finally... I can move on. We skipped the factory staff, obviously. Whoops. And now it is Jeremy time. I don't know if I've put enough into defense because once we move from Jeremy onto the gravity boss, we'll actually start getting hit. So you kind of need to finally have a decent amount of HP. But I'm fairly certain since this fruit is just brokenly OP, I won't have any trouble regardless. He hit me once and I'm half HP. Yeah, okay, so this is a bit of a problem. All right, easy game. Okay, he's not going to be difficult and I can actually fight him on public servers because I just get the quest here and then roll up the mountain. Yo, I did not even realize, but I'm already level 900. It's kind of breezy doing Jeremy. Now I'm going to stay at this until 925, then I'll move on to the next boss, but something good happened. I got this bad boy. Can't remember if it's actually good or not, but it kind of just looks cool on me. So I'm going to just wear it. This should be our last Jeremy kill. I haven't gotten PvP'd too many times. There's actually one guy that I want to like fully shout out. He waited until I was done killing Jeremy. I'd gotten my level up and then he murdered me with his third C abilities. But at least he let me get the NPC kill and level up. Kind of gotten into a really, really good rotation as well. It's so easy to fight with this fruit. Like if you have it in the second C, just awaken it here. It's so overpowered. I know it's getting nerfed in the next update, which will probably be a little bit sad. Hey, spiky coat again. 926, which means finally we can move on to fighting the gravity boss. I know this boss will hit me a couple of times, which is why I grabbed a little bit more HP. But hopefully I can just... I mean, I can long range everything with this fruit. No matter what happens, yeah, I can just stand back and throw punches if I have to. Yeah, very, very easy game. And there's no boss here again. Okay, so... When I hit level 1000 anytime soon, I will be moving on to different NPCs. I can do snow troopers over on the island over there from 1000 onwards. It's just the gravity boss has always been killed. It makes it a massive pain. Oh, these guys. Wait, you have hockey. You can hit me, right? Yeah. Hey, there we go. Level 1000. Definitely. Oh, the adventurer. Nice. We need to move on. The gravity boss is really easy to kill. It's just he's in the middle of the map. So he's kind of always dead on every server that you join. All right, we're going to set our spawn here. Now, I know usually I could go off and I would do like my race quests and everything like that. But since there's no way for me to turn into a mink without going and grinding fragments for now, I'm just going to stay as a human. And in part three, when I can easily get fragments in the third C, that's when we'll uh, change our race to Mink and probably get version 3. All right, final four, and then we're moving on maybe to the other side of the island. They bounced wrong, and I didn't catch them all. No! In the past, with, like, other Devil Fruits, the other side of the island has been a real pain to farm. So maybe I'll come back over here and do another 50 levels here, but we'll just, we'll go see. I destroyed the bridge. Oh, I'm so lucky that I hit there and I bounced up. Oh, I thought I was going to fall. I didn't get the quest. Oh, good. The bridge is back. All right, nine of this. Can I not get across the bridge? Does that mean? No, it's fine. Okay. The last three winter warriors. These have been so easy. Of course, one would get stuck. I got to kill three more and one of those three would get stuck in the ground. That's just whatever. These have been great to grind. I'm excited to do lab subordinates though. They're faster. Moving on. We're going to hot and cold. We're nearly up to where we get to grind another boss, which will be such a like increase in speed. 
for our leveling and then i don't know man it's it's kind of smooth sailing once you get to smoke admiral all right 1150 lab subordinates are the worst because they can flash step to you or teleport to you until logia kicks in then they're actually kind of the best to grind I had no idea you could destroy that door. I had no idea you could destroy that bridge in the other village too. Wow. The dough fruit just ruins everything. All right. Hopefully this guy won't be too difficult. He's using the old smoke fruit, which is kind of worse to fight against than the new one. This could be a little bit annoying. And there we go. Okay. He's not too bad. I don't think I'll die every time. We just hit 1,175. I was going to stick to smoker, but he is a massive pain. I'd rather just do magma ninjas. This is them, right? Yeah, I think I did these guys when I did the devil fruit notifiers. They are kind of good to grind. All right, level 1,200, but I'll be sticking to magma ninjas because the other ones, the lava pirates, are a massive pain. 1,250, boys. Let's go. I think cursed ship is where we're at, which can be a little bit slow to grind. I'm thinking if I get like sick of the cursed ship i might come back do a little bit of smoke admiral because he'll still give me a few levels per kill and i can sort of just alternate depending on what i enjoy i know the doe fruit is like a pretty good all-terrain vehicle but can i get up this no there's a there's a gap there how you drive this thing let's go oh yes yes oh all-wheel drive boys all terrain, all wheel drive, easy. All right, 1,250. Give me them deck hands, yeah. All right, here is the last two, and then we'll be 1,300. We move on to ship stewards. These guys have actually been great. I don't know what I was worried about, except for when I miss with my attacks like that. These have honestly felt amazing. I don't even know if the stewards are going to be as good or not. This was also a big milestone because during this training, I maxed out my blocks fruits, which means now I'll just start sort of like evenly increasing these. I know in the third C, I'm going to need a lot of energy, so I don't want to under commit to that. I have a feeling that if I get all of them and I bring them like, yeah, close. It, oh, they do that. That's not good. And then I use my clothesline. It'll pull them all together, right? It actually does. That's amazing. And then I separated them. All right. The stewards were so good to grind. And we're about to hit 350, which means we can go to the ice island and start grinding there. Once we get to the ice admiral, things will get super easy because I'll probably do ice admiral all the way up to tidekeeper, then tidekeeper to 1500. And then we're done and we'll be able to go to the third C. We're up to the last four, and then we can move on to the Ice Admiral at 1,400. Feels good, man. I'm fairly certain I can go roll up the hill pretty easily, and then just server hop. When I originally did this on my main account, I never even did the Tidekeeper. I just stuck to this guy because he was the easiest. But I'm fairly certain with Awakened Doe, I can do the Tidekeeper as well. So we'll be doing this guy for probably 100 levels. All right, here we go, boys. Last one of these. I said I'd probably do this till Tidekeeper, but I guess just so many people grind bosses for levels now. It's kind of hard to find a boss that hasn't been killed. I genuinely think it'd be faster just to kill the NPCs on the Skull Island from whatever level, 1,425. Assuming I don't just die here. There we go. Man, that was close. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna go to Skull Island. I'm gonna kill regular NPCs. It just feels easier. The bosses are always dead now. It could also be a bot thing. There are a lot of bots in the first and well, there's a lot of bots in every C. All right, the final four. I don't know if I'm moving on or not. I can't remember if grinding the other ones is terrible. These guys aren't too bad. Their ability, the Fishman or Sharkman karate that they use. So the ability that they use is a little bit annoying, but yeah, see, <laughs> a little bit annoying. It's like instant cast. It's very hard to dodge. But other than that, these guys have been really, really good to grind. Did he, does he have low HP? Yeah, cool. And then boom, that's it, 450. We just roll up the hill here and then back over to the quest NPC. Oh no, they have a ranged attack. Yeah, that does make them annoying. Die and die no die there we go not too bad the final stretch boys and unfortunately like what i consider to be one of the worst bosses in this game the tide keeper don't know why but i always die to this thing i just i can't get the hang of fighting it let's 
not be lame about this. If he doesn't summon a sea beast, I'll be fine. But I think if he does, the chances of my abilities getting interrupted is way too high. All right, almost dead, almost dead. I think I'll just, I think I should just ignore the sea beasts if they do appear. There we go, finally. <laughs> All right, final kill time. And then we can move on to the third sea. So while I'm murdering this guy, like always, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. The first episode of this did fantastically because obviously this is a super hype account. Just like with the first video, as long as this vid does well, gets good comments, gets likes, views, all that sort of stuff, we will definitely be doing a part three. I'm still really enjoying Awakened Doe. Like, it doesn't seem to matter what you go up against. This fruit just, it handles everything. That's why it's getting nerfed. But that's also why we really need to finish this series before it gets nerfed. Oh man, I'm gonna die on my last kill. That stupid sea beast will kill me. Oh, he's behind the rock. This is it. This is it. Yes. 1500. Let's go. Save and talk to the NPC. Oh, yeah, right. I have to do a couple of quests before we can go to the third seat, but that's fine. I'll do that off camera. You guys don't want to see that boring stuff. Again. This is it, boys. The third C on the account. We're no longer special because you can get this in the third C. And obviously, you could get Awakened Doe in the second. But that's fine. I wanted to go all the way to max. So I have some extra plans to go along. So we're going to start with the Pirate Millionaires, obviously. But in 15 minutes time, I'm going to roll over to the castle. I'm going to get an elite NPC. I'm going to go fight them because I would like to get the hunter's cape and things like that just to up my movement speed. And you get a heap of XP when you kill them. Uh, how hard are these guys? Did that look like, yeah, I do good damage. And I didn't even have Haki on. There is a lava man on this island somewhere. And I think if I defeat him, I will get to level 1,525, which means we move on from the millionaires to the billionaires. And of course, he was in the last place that I looked. Come on. This is the magma one. He could kill me. There we go. Okay, I actually managed to beat him. And I get the 100 fragments every time too, which is for our, hopefully, our one race reroll that we do in the future. All right, last four of these. These guys are easy. You just group four of them up and kill them two lots. Easy game. Oh, don't wait. Boom, there we go. Now we're 1,550. We can serve a hop stone, who shouldn't be too bad with this fruit because obviously I can just roll out there. Just be dead. There we go. Wait, have I, st I haven't gotten an item yet still? Alrighty, I've just hit 1,600. I'm hopping public service to farm stone still. I've switched over to the pilot helmet. I got it as a drop. It makes me move way faster. So like getting over here is quicker. I'm doing this for another 74 levels. Then I'm going straight to the island empress. Because apparently you should skip most of the regular island or Hydra Island mobs. Alrighty, guys. I just hit 1,626. And I was looking at the leveling guide. And it said you can do the island villages in the middle as long as you're not a Buddha user. And I think that has to do with all the ledges you can get stuck on. So apparently my doe fruit, which I have just hit 600 mastery on. We're now max mastery on Awakened Doe, which is insane. It should be able to do this pretty easily. Let's go, boys. We're about to be 6, 1,650. I think I'll just kill like one of these and I'll level up. Come on, please be enough XP. No. Oh, that actually wasn't even that close. It did like nothing. All right, last two. And by looks of my XP bar, I was going to have to do an entire quest anyway. All right, now we can move on to the big islanders over here. And then finally on to the Empress. All right, I just missed the level, but 1,675. I'm going to take off the hat now. Go back to the glasses to get as much like additional damage as I can. And now we're moving on to the Empress boss. So we'll be hopping servers again. This is going to be... Is this difficult with this route? Maybe not. All right, we're so close. Oh, no, of course she happened to just hit me with an arrow. Stupid game. Die. What? What? There we go. Okay, not too bad. 1,700. And honestly, what an unpleasant experience. Why do so many max level players PvP at the second lowest level boss in the third C? Like, bruh. <laughs> I died so many times, but it's fine. We're done now. We're going to the Great Tree. We're doing 75 levels at the next ones. Alrighty, boys. Well, I killed 
only these three NPCs the entire time I was on this island, but this is the last one. Then I'm pretty sure we're going floating turtle, which will honestly, that's when it starts to get a lot faster. So more levels more often sounds good. There we go. The last two. Finally, turtle time. It's been a little bit, so I think I'll go to the castle and get an elite NPC. All right, come on. Be on giant turtle. Floating turtle. Yes, perfect. One, two, come on. Ah, oh, three, not three. Lame. I did get a bandana though, which is good, I think. Alrighty, boys. Last a couple and then we are 1,800 and we'll be moving on to whatever the other fishman things are. The ones over there that throw the tridents. Come on, last hit. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Come on, 1,800. All right, that's 1,826. So we're moving on to the pirates that are next to the mansion. I think the forest pirates. We're going to do them for 75 levels before we move on to the jungle pirates at 1,900. All right, last time doing the forest pirates. These guys are good. They're easy to, like, you group them up in twos and they're pretty easy to kill, except for when that happens. Come on. All right, last two. Here we go. After this, we're moving on to jungle pirates, which aren't very great to grind. But for whatever reason, there's a huge XP jump between like every other quest before jungle pirates just doesn't give as much XP. And then suddenly jungle pirates gives a lot of XP. So we'll do those guys for 25 levels. Let's go, boys. Last two. The jungle pirates kind of fast. The third sea is good once you get off like Hydra Island. But according to the, the guide that I'm following, these next NPCs are like some of the fastest in the game to level up with. So Musketeer Pirates, I'll be doing these, I think, for 100 levels. These are so easy because I can just roll over here. And there's a couple of them right here. There's a guy up there. There's a guy up there. This guy right here. They also like, they flash step. So I think if I... Oh, I can't hit them where they are. Okay, I have to shoot them with a different attack. All right, last three, boys. Let's go. These were so fast. These are actually awesome to grind. We finish off these three, and then we get to move on to Haunted Castle. The skeletons, I grind those on my main account for mastery. So these are going to be great. Here we go. So I'm going to do skeletons. I'm going to skip living zombies and then go into the... I can't remember if they're vampires or whatever. They use the magma fruit just in there. And then I don't know if I'll do the underground ones. Can't remember. All right. I am back on the turtle. I've got 3,000 fragments now. So is it taut? Yeah. Rerolls your race for 3,000. Come on. Yes! I got rabbit. That's exactly what I want. I just wanted to move a little bit faster. I also didn't set my spawn on the haunted ship. So I have to drive all the way back there. Yo, I was too busy watching some YouTube videos. I totally missed the level, but 2026 means we're moving on to... Ooh, not these guys. Yeah, this is so easy. The demonic souls are right on top of the quest giver. Apparently, these guys are the best. I used to AFK these guys with Buddha to get our free mastery. 2,075, boys. Getting the rabbit was such a game changer. We're going to see of treats now, which is, this is it. We're in the last zone. We have to do what? 375 levels? Is that right? Sea of treats. I think this is like peanut land. Is this where you start? I have a feeling that these are all great. The Peanut Scouts, yeah, this is it. These are great to grind, actually. Yeah, because I can... But oh, there's one there, one there, one there, and then one more of a... Oh, no, there he is. There he is. One right there. Yes, four at a time. I can do this. Last four of these, and then we're moving on to the other side of the island. These guys are so efficient to do. Like, they're so easy to group up. I say that as I get one stuck, but they're usually so easy. And the last one, there we go, 1,000, uh, 2,100. We're doing these guys now, the peanut presidents until, is it just 25? Yeah, we can do 25 levels on these guys if we want. But then if I don't like grinding the ice cream island, I might stick to these for a bit. 2,125, let's go. I do not like the NPCs over here. There's a good chance that I'm going to turn around and go back an island. I'll give these little leprechaun looking dudes a go. Alrighty guys, the last three of these guys. And then we're moving on to like my favorite thing to grind. It's, I don't know if they're my favorite. They're so easy to grind. Everybody who has played the end game and has done like the dough prints has grinded this next area. Here we go. 
Boom, there we go. 2,200. Let's go. The last kill for 2,300. Then we get off this island. We're in like the new content territory now. Here we go. And that's it. We got 150 levels to go. Here we go. Last four Choco Warriors. And then we've got only 100 levels to go after this. The third C is or like it's an awesome grind once you get past i said hydra island earlier but honestly once you get past big tree then it's pretty golden there's also a lot of other fun stuff to unlock but like i said earlier i'm going to japan so i don't have time to do the extra stuff we're just gonna level up and then this account will be ready for the next time that max level goes up yeah do sweet thief or choco warriors until 2400 so these guys here are no go apparently we don't do these but apparently we do these the final four let's go we're about to have 50 levels left and the next island is so conveniently set up that it's just easy to grind oh, of course the last one would bounce over the wall where'd he go what well, there it is hi yes all right 24 hundo let's go i got the glorious nice all right, final island. What are we calling this? Is this the Candy Island? Is that is that the name? That's what it feels like. This place is great. They're set up in threes. They're in a little circle. They're easy to grind. Where the guy? Oh, and the guy's in the middle. Whoever designed this island is the best. The final two. We're getting so close. Uh, my brain has just turned off now. We're nearly at the end of the grinding. I'm done. I'm, I'm over it. You're dead. Oh. Why? Die. Don't scatter everywhere. There we go. All right. And that one too. Easy game. Up next. Snow demons. We kill eight as well. Cool. 20. Oh, 24 levels to go. This is it, boys. I have leveled up so many accounts in my time. But it never stops feeling good when you reach that goal level. I know there's a lot of things left to unlock on this. I know there's a lot of things left to unlock on this account. And usually I would go and do all of that. But I really just wanted this video for you guys while I'm on holiday. I didn't want to not be uploading. You know how it is. So we got the levels done. We have completed the account. And I think when the max level increases, we'll come back. I mean, increases by a fair bit. Say the fourth C comes out and the new max level is like 3000 or something. We'll come back, we'll unlock a bunch of bonus stuff, and we'll level up this account to the max level again. Thanks for watching this one, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. And again, if you missed it, the second episode kind of got like buried by YouTube. So make sure you go and check it out if you missed it. That way you can see all three parts or you can watch the movie length that will come out in maybe two weeks. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time.